I uh, work in Berghain, so it was a bartending job, but still uh, I was lucky enough to have enough uh, money to sustain while I was planning something else. Well, the news is that I'm still working in Berghain, even if it's closed, we have the quota by to get, so it's also, I would say that uh, like uh, everyone in here, I'm very lucky. Um, and three months after, I found a position in Troma Bar und Kino, which is a cultural space, club, cinema, uh, where I'm the director of production. And uh, now I'm part of a commission back in France, which decides uh, about funding for choreographers. So wow. I'm part of this commission as an expert, and that's really the best I could get. Uh, and still nice to work between two countries, even in times of COVID. Um, so that is really the highlight of my year. Um, and I got it because I wrote this master thesis about dance and digital, which is very important for like this digital shift in the performing art industry. Um, yeah, and after I finished the master, I got hired in Troma Baronkino, which is a cultural space mainly known as a club but we also have a dance studio and a and a and a cinema so there i'm the director of the production and i'm also doing the creation of the dance program so i'm exactly where i wanted to be when i moved to berlin and this is uh, partly because of the of the program the beginning i was hesitating because i was afraid this was too creative but actually this gave me the tool that I was needed to be capable of adapt myself in every situation. Now I'm uh, being in the direction of this uh, cultural venue where we face a lot of issue because we are closed since almost a year now and we had to transition obviously. So now we are doing this transition and I believe that uh, part of uh, the, the class we had uh, helped me to to give me the tool to be able to react and to because in the program we had so many we had to go in situation and 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 um, and act so this is really what I like this uh, very practical approach of uh, of of working in the creative and cultural industry. As a bartender, I would say that it's just keep my inspiration ongoing because as you know now uh, they really managed to have a transition where now there is studio berlin which is an art gallery so it was just an amazing way for them to use the space and continue to pay their employees right um so yeah like the, the, this first job is more about like getting inspired and the second Definitely it helped me because uh, it's a lot of strategy. I'm part of the board of administrator of Thomas Baron Kino, so it's about, yeah. Uh, now, part of the, the people, they need culture and creative industries because they need to get entertained. It's the only way. And then we can really see the importance of managing a digital shift in a company because then we can offer more content. So I feel like uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's not the case because people need culture more than ever in these difficult times, and uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs>